Hey, it's Lydia Brown. Hope you're having a great business building day. And if you're not, you need to email me, contact me on Facebook, give me a call, hit me up on Skype so we could talk about this. Get you rolling. Just as a reminder, there's a lot of training in the group. That private group is for you and your team. It's about you. Start making it happen. I cannot help you if you're not building your business. And how do you build your business? You need to duplicate. You need to duplicate what I do. Any other leaders that you respect, look up to, duplicate. Make sure that what you're going to be doing fits in with your business model, with your principles. And let's just get it going and make some money. This is a year of change. This is a year of prospering. And you can make it happen. So come on. The first step you've already done was by joining whatever opportunity or business that you're in. Kudos to you. But please go through the training and let's move on. You don't have to be fast. Um, be as fast as you can. That makes you comfortable and you can retain. But the best thing you could do is go through a training, implement Go through the next training, implement. If you're going to act like a student and act like you're in college and you have to go through all the courses before you go out and get the job and do it, then you have forgotten that you are running a business. Okay? So, watch a video, read something I posted, and by all means, just implement. So today's video is one of the things I love doing. It's about pictures. See this picture, you rock? I posted this about Adrian's uh, three sales in her business. So I'm going to uh, tell you some important things about getting pictures, but I'm, I'm going to show you how I do. Okay, there are a couple of places that I go for pictures. And one of them, one of them is this. I'm going to show you. Let me see. I don't actually have to be signed in to do that. All right, you go up to your search bar and you're going to type in google.com unless you have this this here already when you open your page and then you type in images and it's going to take you to Google images and I'm going to click that now the first thing I want to tell you this is very important you have to be real careful about using other people's pictures that they pay for or artists work so any pictures you get out of Google don't put them on your own website and do not use them in a Facebook ad you want your ad to go viral and then you can get in trouble when the owner of that picture sees it so you create your own pictures and we're gonna go through that in this video but just for posting on Facebook I'm not saying that it's okay but um, in all the years I've been on Facebook, I've never seen anyone get in trouble for it. Uh, so sometimes I go here and I'll get pictures like of somebody's birthday. I'll go, you see, you type in a word and they give you these suggestions Valentine's Day, Kiss Day, Chocolate Day, Birthday. And you click and you find a picture that you like I try to find one that doesn't have a whole lot of text find one that's appropriate for me and the person I'm going to give it to and I try to find a picture Google just goes around the net and finds out what pictures are out there and brings it in one place it's not like just because Google brought it there you can use it so you also have to watch that none of the pictures that you choose have a watermark like the uh a website address link on it that belongs to some company it might have a website address to a place that you could actually go get pictures but I prefer to find one that doesn't have any watermarks like this doesn't have any watermarks and then I would right click on my mouse and I go save image as and one thing about using keywords I'm not even going to go into that because that's a whole nother training but just take my word for it now when you save a picture try to name it for what the picture is or a particular special word um, if you were going to use this picture on say a blog post and the blog post was about how to make cakes you would name this how to make cakes because when Google 
is doing the uh, responses to people's searches online, you want them to find your post and find your picture, which will go to your post. So just take my word for that right now, okay? Right now, you're just going to be posting on Facebook. But just get in the habit, and plus, it's a way for you to find your um, pictures. Don't save your pictures with the original uh, googly gob numbers that come up. Because uh, sometimes you won't find it. Because some pictures when you try to save them won't even have a name. This at least says happy birthday. Some pictures will just have a string of numbers. Even when you take pictures with your camera, try to remember immediately to go change the name of that picture. To uh, It could be Kakama at the park. It could be Adrian buying a car. It could be Milton. Uh, stuck in a traffic jam and saw something real interesting. It could be Lydia at her favorite restaurant and and I'm taking a picture of my favorite dish. Well, you want to tag, label it right away if you're not going to just post it straight to Facebook from your phone so you won't have a hard time if you're one of those people that just take pictures, take pictures, take pictures with their phone and then um, the picture just gets lost and you can't find it and you get frustrated you know we want to be automated we want to be productive and we want to save time for our money making tasks so I just thought I'd throw that in there so here you just click out of that so you find a picture that you like so here's what is a big thing on Facebook Facebook likes pictures they love pictures of babies they love uh, pictures of animals and you know why because people love pictures of babies and animals so and inspirational things and last year in 2013 2013 there was a poll and actually said that uh, babies pictures were the highest on the list that people clicked and shared more and that is your goal to get people to see your stuff resonate with it and click it because you might or might not have your link there so every time I share a post on Facebook, I don't always put my link, but sometimes I do. The goal is to follow the 80-20 rule. 80% you're providing value and 20% you're pitching your offer. If you only pitch your offer via by text or by picture, People are not going to keep coming back to your page because pretty much, like I've said in another video, you're just telling them this is all I'm about. I don't want people to fall in love with my product and service until they become part of my team. I want them to fall in love with me because people buy and join people in business who they like and trust. So that's the key. I can't force anyone to uh, fall in love with my product if they haven't tried it. I can't force them to fall in love with my business if they have, if they don't know much about it. But when a person trusts you and you tell them this is a safe place to be and I'm getting results or my sponsor is getting results or my coach is getting results, they will trust your word and follow you and try for themselves. And that's the goal. That's attraction marketing. So what I particularly love is inspirational quotes. You could say Bible verses. You could you could type in celebrity quotes, um, well-known people's quotes. And there's two things I do. I could either save a picture with a quote, save it like I showed you, and then I'll go into Facebook, go on my page upload the photo I'm gonna go in and show you some photos I already have because I've been doing this for such a long time you know and you save your stuff so you can reuse it someplace else but you you find a picture that resonates with you so that see I have a folder here that says inspirational and then um let's see let me see what this one a diamond is just to see what it is Okay, so I don't, I don't recall exactly what that is, so I'm going to post it first. A diamond is just a piece of charcoal that handles stress except, exceptionally well. Okay, so if I had went and looked at the picture first, which is what I usually do, go look at it so I could have recall what it was about, I would have typed my message. And um, I personalize it.
Okay, so I wrote, don't let stress get you down. You are being prepared for bigger and better things. And sometimes I like to put a little capital letter somewhere. I don't get excessive because we call that shouting. And I'm done editing. But like I said, I would have gone and looked at the picture first and read it. But for, uh, for time's sake, I just uploaded it because I knew it couldn't be something bad. I it had it in the inspirational folder. And so I would have typed my message before I hit post. And if you forget, you can go edit. But don't just upload pictures. Personalize it. Let people see what do you think? What's so special about that post? Why should I care? What, what do you care? And then you also, let me show you another trick. I just want to keep it simple there. But here's what you want to do when you post. You ask a question. Put this on a piece of paper and keep it in front. People don't always pay attention to your question. People are always speeding around. But you got some people, if it resonates with them, they might ask your question. I mean, they might answer your question or ask you one back. So, don't let stress get you down. You are being prepared for bigger and better things. Um, what do you think you are being prepared for? And we used to always write the word share and like, type it in. But uh, then Facebook got funny about that. They don't want us telling people to like um, too much, too often, all the time. So just to not go through trouble with them, uh, I, I just stopped doing it. Uh, it's pretty much on your fan pages, which we'll be learning shortly. We're going to deal with our personal profiles now because you're making friends, new friends now. But people know to like a comment but if I was selling something if this was something I was selling I would have definitely wrote given a directive a call to action we call it I would have said click the link click the link now or register now register by clicking the link I would have definitely put a call to action but this is on my personal page I'm not selling anything I'm not trying to get anybody to go to my blog my video or my business link so I'm just keeping it real simple and I ask a question so I'm done editing and if some this is important to remember too don't just be posting things we're building relationships so up here I check this up here because usually what happens up here with this why is my thing up here with this little world thing usually a group you're connected with or or something you commented on before it will show up if somebody liked it or commented. And so you might want to go back and comment. And it could very well be your page. I could be on another group page and something pop up here. And it tells me, like, comment liked my You Rock. And I want to bring attention because this is what happens. When you someone likes or comments on your post, it goes back out to this news feed over here where other people that are your friends see it. Not everybody, because Facebook won't let everybody see it because of a thing called edge rank, which you don't have to worry about now. When we do our fan pages, you will definitely have to know about that. But they will see it, and then somebody else might pop over because they're, they're seeing it again when they come back online or something like that later on. So maybe people come sometimes people come like 12 people and they'll just hit the like button hit hit the like button and nobody comment and i'll just go in and i'll type thank you for for the likes everyone just i wanted to go back out into the facebook world <laughs> to keep it simple, I wanted to go back out there in the news feed and see if I can catch anybody else. And I definitely do that on my fan page. But practice. What I'd like you to do, and, and I ask you all, and you don't know how important it is. Right now, I need you all to start posting these inspirational quotes and I want you to make friends so please try to make as many friends as you can in the mastermind fever group and we need people to start seeing what you're going to be posting we don't want you just posting and it's just you looking at it and me looking at it so if you're up to that lesson please follow it through so this is one way you could do this okay another way 
I'm going to show you. Type in free background uh, pictures. Okay, so here's some images of free backgrounds, right? And if you go to the site, if it says it's free, go ahead and download it. If it sometimes you have to download, sometimes you could just copy and save. And save it in a folder, name it backgrounds, and there's different backgrounds. So this is what I do when I, I have a few on saved on my computer. A diamond is just a piece of charcoal that handles stress exceptionally, right? So, um, or let me take my little thing. Don't let stress get you down. You are being prepared for better things. And I'll copy that. So this is what I could have done. And I'm going to put, I'm going to put these links to these sites under the video so you guys can go play around. This is a free tool. I don't even sign in. I just click edit. And you go to wherever your pictures are. This went to my pictures because I was just in it. But what I want to go to is a different folder. Bear with me. I'm going to show you why. I have it there. And I have it pictures. And I have backgrounds. You see this folder here? It says backgrounds. I'm going to choose one of these folders. I mean one of these backgrounds. I download it and I try to find something that I think will kind of go. I have to download some more. I've used these for a while. I'm so attracted to these little satin things. And this is one of my favorites, the abstract. But um, let's try cubes. Okay, see it uploaded here? So you can play with it and then you come over here and you click this little T. And some of these different types of font you can't use because they'll say you have to, to be paid, pay for it. So I usually stick with these up here if I want a heavier text that, but I'm using quite a bit of text. So I'm going to keep it uh, maybe veranda and then you click add text and this box shows up and then you just play with it. So. You tap twice inside it and paste the text. You see I paste the text? So then what I do is I highlight over it and I'll make it bold or I might want to make it italic so it'll have that little different shape. And then I click out of it. And when I click out of it, I can move it around on the page. To make it look a little, make more sense, um, right now, just to play with it a little more I want to show you we're just gonna leave it at don't let stress I'm gonna remove that just want to I don't want it to get in the way too many words me showing you so I could also click in it and when you double click you can highlight over the words and you can go over here and play with colors and see what color looks good on the background that you have you can change uh, what size you want by clicking over here the numbers and you remember you want it to be seen on the website and you want it to be centered so you could click left centered uh, right I usually try to do centered and keep it in the middle of the page if you were going to do a Facebook ad you wouldn't want too much text like this but this is just for us so then you click save and you can save it as great quality good file Pierce or you could do Sean which is the best and you click save to your computer and then you name it now originally it was called cubes but I put don't let stress get you down I would like to keep this blank cubes so I would name it don't let stress get you down and of course I'm not going to save it back in this folder 
I want to go back to my original folder with the pictures and pictures I want to save it in inspirational and I'll put it there and it's going to download and when I go to that folder wherever you saved it you saved it on your computer but I'm in a habit I have a, a very big jump drive because I save videos and pictures and I try to not save anything actually on my computer that I don't have to because I don't want it to slow down because being on the internet a lot and running tools slows it down as it is. So you have to come up with what's comfortable for you to find things. You find your system. Just try to be uh, putting things where you can find them. Because you never know. You might be on Skype with a client or a customer and need to find something fast. But you really should have the stuff ready by the time you get with them. So I look at my inspirational file and let's look for the cube. It should be in here. Don't let stress get you down. See, it's there. Now, I don't, if you have Word, you can right click on a picture and you'll see this box says open with. And I usually click Microsoft Office Picture Manager. waiting for it to come up and I'll click edit picture and resize and I wanted to make sure that it's large for web so the pictures show up and if you have to post it somewhere like as a profile pic and you wanted to make it small you make it small so whatever picture editor you have on your computer that's what you do and then you save it you can save it new new because you want the smaller size but you want to keep the larger size or just go ahead and save it to the old file okay alright so that is pickmonkey.com and go in and play with it sometimes they have um, little backgrounds and you can play with it and use them it'll tell you if it's a paid one or not you know the prettier it is it's gonna be paid right and then um, if you click, which one is it? If Oh, if you go over these little boxes, it'll tell you for effects, touch up, overlays, and some things you can use and some things you can't. It depends. You could even resize a picture. Let me get back to this. Discard, cancel, uh, text. Textures, we don't want textures. Discard. Are those different ones? Not. Okay. Discard. All right. Well, those are all paid. Your own apply. Let's see what it does. Oh, look at that. See what it did to the cubes? Isn't that beautiful? Look what it did to the cubes. Made those little sparkle things. Nice. You just got to play with it. I love that. Made it out of space. I think I'm going to come back and use that. Okay. So, enough of that. Okay. Here's a site that I found called canva.com. Uh, and I took your emails and sent you all invitations to it you could use it free but if you um, there's a lot more choices and the pictures are digital and they look beautiful on the website I don't like dull pictures uh, if you go on my website on my fan page you'll see some of these pictures that I did I found on there and beautiful pictures for like a dollar but you can use free ones so I would grab social media and let's see what they got for free for us. And usually comes up with all this different stuff that might be congruent with what you want to paste, uh, copy and paste or 
upload on a social media site but you can also type in a keyword so I'll just put uh, business let's see let's see what it comes up with business people okay it came up with these people so we're gonna look these are a dollar we want free let's see if they have any free sometimes they're pretty here it'll say free see this is free this is free this is our dollar so you just click it and then you could crop it make it whatever size you want you can click the T over here and then it says add text as subtitle so this text box when you click it'll be bigger text and then you add something smaller underneath it and then add something even smaller under that text I usually use one or two and it's the same thing as on pick monkey type what you want let's change the color so we can see it when you click this round ball here it'll say pick a color so you want to pick a color that'll stand out to the background see and then click double in the box we could pick a color again turn it to blue Texas blue and then all you do is you hit link and publish I never use this to share directly but you could and the other thing, you know, this is shared to Twitter, this is shared to uh, Facebook. I, I, I sometimes like to have more control. But it's, it's not to say if you wanted to share it straight to Facebook, you could always delete it if you don't like the way it looks when it shows up. But what I like to do is really download, see if I need to make the pictures bigger or smaller and play for it a little more. So... <clears throat> excuse me so the other thing is this let me show you like I said inspirational quotes but let me get rid of this one I want to show you something uh, let's see I don't like to use a lot of money ads but I want to show you this just in, just to give you an idea alright I just typed money and that's old passe printing a lot about money but if it was something you wanted to um, I don't like a whole lot of money stuff but uh, let's see what this looks like I don't want that either but just want to give you an sense about what you could do this is not so bad I don't like bragging money that's up to you but people who really know how to market just don't do that anymore that's so old school and it wasn't it, it wasn't appropriate then but this is what I would do then I'll click T and I would do I'm adding a little text box and I'm just going to use my blog as an example because I know about heart okay so one this is my blog address and say I'm gonna post this because I want people to go visit my blog so one I need this lighter I need this to be lighter I don't want it to be black because I'm, I'm gonna show you I'm going to show you where I'm gonna put this so let me pull this ball up come on ball I want it white okay and I'm going to put it down here so and you don't really want to make it that obvious I'll tell you why in one second I'm going to change the size to let me see 21 or do I want to change it to 18 because people see it they'll see it if they want to I'm tell you I mean they're, they're no fools you just don't want it to be blatant you could put your Moby link let me, and I want to position it right. Come on, come on. Okay, I want to 
position it like right there. Don't want it thrown up in people's face. And then you could click T again, choose the big link, the big text, and you can uh, write something about. Let's see. Let's move this. Say we wanted to put it here, and you want to say something like, "Are you tired of just counting, counting change? Inbox me it, to." Talk about a better way. You you be creative about what you're gonna say. If she's counting her chains. You want to just say something. If you were doing pocketbooks, you could have said something about this was beautiful, and the link of where to buy your purses. Uh, me for what what we do with network marketing. And I say if you're tired of counting change, um, contact me. Just plain and simple. Nice picture. Here's your link. If I wanted the a picture to go more viral. I really would think more. I'm just giving examples. I would. I really would want to put um, maybe an inspirational quote, uh, uh, quote here that would be congruent with the picture. So I'm just using this picture to show you how to put your link and then a little text. Don't um, think about the picture because the idea is you want to post the picture and somebody go, oh, and share it on Facebook. Because when they share it, a friend of theirs might share it, and your link is going to float all around Facebook. You follow me? And sometimes you won't post your link. So you don't want to do it all the time, but you do it sometimes. Remember the 80-20. Okay? Sometimes you just want things to be shared because it's going to show up that it came from you anyway. Um... So as long as people keep sharing your name, it will be the original source. Unless somebody downloads a picture. Now, a lot of times I don't like to just download somebody's stuff and re-put it up unless they have a link. And let me show you what I mean. Let me go to home. Because I'm not promoting your stuff. I might like your quote. But if you have a link in it, I don't want to. So this is what I'll do. Let's see if we can find one. Let's see. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to find an ad. Oh, look, she's adorable. Oh, this is Tracy Walker. I love her. One of my mentors. Uh, she just made her her first million and she bought a boat and I love that. Okay. Say this was a picture here and it was really beautiful and you really like it. Well, Rob4 has his business link here. So I don't want to share it and share his business link. See it showed up here? I don't care how cute the picture is unless I'm supporting him. Like I will support you guys. I will share your stuff. And I hope we do it for each other to help support each other to help get traction. But I don't want to share this link. I don't even know what that link is about. So, what you could do is you right click. And, let me see if this will let me save it. Depends on the picture. Uh, save link as. I don't want the link. See, that he's got a special thing going on with this through a Facebook. Let me see. That's sponsored. We don't want the link. Let's see what this does. Okay. This does save image. I would click the link, save the image, give it a name, and then I would upload it up to my profile. Let me go to my profile for you. I would take that picture, upload it by clicking photo, bring it up, and then when I finish, let me just get it back so you can see the comment. I would still give them credit. I would go, I found this picture, so blah, 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 because of blah, blah, blah. Thank you so and so for sharing it. So I have the picture. I gave them credit for it. I'm not pretending that I found it somewhere miraculously on my own. And there you go. I gave her credit and I got my picture. I want to show you something else I do that's really nice. And and, and I'd love y'all to do some homework like this. Okay. This young lady. We became friends today. 
I'll say 95% of the time when I ask a person a friend and they accept or they ask me to be a friend and I accept, I send them this picture that's on my computer. And I've been using it for about two months now and I'm going to switch up and try something new. But um, people usually comment because it's nice, the colors are brilliant and they like it. She wrote, oh, love it, Lydia. No, thank you for your awesomeness. I've had other people that are not friends with me, but they're friends with the person I sent the picture to, like the picture. It's different rather than just going to a page and going, thank you for being my friend. Thank you for, they see it such a hundred times and people expect it. So I would like you all to come up with some pictures. If you want me to look at them, post it in the group. If you like, it's your group. I would like you to practice this. I'm going to have the links. Remember, don't be afraid to practice. Don't be afraid of making a mistake. If you don't like the way something looks on your page, you can always go back, hoover over the document, and you'll see delete photo. And that'll take all of this away. Or you could click edit if you found that you misspelled your word. Always try your best to look at your, your spelling and your grammar before you hit um, post because it goes out pretty fast and you know people judge they're just human they they, they judge so that's canva.com I'm gonna take that so I remember I you all should have an email I sent it to your Gmail account an invitation to use it remember use the free stuff they have really good free stuff they really do so we don't need this and I am going to I want to put it in a link so I could uh, my poor computer is so slow on me these days it doesn't love me anymore okay I'm going to post that link so I won't forget. And then, uh, remember, just do Google search for images. You can use it like this, or you could take the quote and use it on a, a background of your own. That'll be different because 20 million people probably use these already. But if it resonates with you, go for it. Go for it. Um, let's see here. Okay. Free digital photos.net. I'm going to copy that for you guys. Plenty of free pictures here. Watch this. Okay. So do a search. I'm going to do social media. Click go and it comes up with these different pictures and I'll tell you how many images it has related to that and you know, on how many pages and you can just check around for a few pages you're looking for something that resonates that's going to be congru congruent with what you're going to be posting about it okay so okay so say you want to this one I don't like this one too much color this, ugh. but um, say you wanted this one you see here it says the small is free if you wanted a different size you pay for it it's not that much but save your money so what happens is when you click download it's going to ask you to click that you're going to buy by their terms and conditions you can have it emailed to you or you could just download it so I don't have an email but there's always this little ad here and you know um, just to let you know when you have to do these things people kind of get paid for the click or, or to show you and if you go buy something they'll make money it's a neat little thing so this says click play to reveal the security code and it's not too long thank goodness it's playing music Dun, 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 dun. Now it says, please enter roll game phone. So I'm going to do roll game phone. 
and I'm gonna click download and stop that because that's in my ear and I download it and then and then I'm going to go to the picture here and open it. Your computer might save it to a different place than mine. Ever since I opened I set up an updated uh, Microsoft Home Office. Instead of giving me the choice to go to a file, it downloads at the bottom. It drives me nuts. But anyway, here's a picture. Do what you want with it. Okay. So, did I capture this? It's a lot of free. Sometimes you'll do a keyword and they don't have a lot of pictures. And down at the very bottom, it'll show you pictures to some other sites. But they're usually paid sites. Okay, but the, this is uh, the main one that I use. And that's all. Practice so you can get it right. And like I said, I'll look at your pictures. I have no problem looking at your pictures, checking them out, play with the text. It's easy. It's easy peasy. Alrighty. Talk to you later. Have a wonderful business building week. Take care. I'm available by Skype, Facebook. Call me if you can. And that's it. See you to the, in the next video.